What is up, YouTube? Did everybody have a great Labor Day weekend? I did. I golf once a year on Labor Day weekend. The wife's family does this little reunion pretty much every Labor Day weekend. We go up to this little tiny town and take over the golf course with about 50 to 60 people. We do the little four-man team, best ball type of thing. And let me tell you, I am awesome. Take a look. I went way right. That was a practice. Yeah, that's one way of approaching it. That was definitely too far right. So don't go there. Right again. I don't even know ah. where I went. Right? Yeah, behind those two trees up there. Did you bring the distance putter? Yeah, that was me attempting to golf and drink a lot of beer. Okay, I'm just kidding. I can't golf at all. I'm terrible. Pretty much anything that has to do with sports, terrible. Okay, so the point of this video, I think I am going to install some solar panels today. It is windy, of course, but the temperature is down. It's about 76 degrees out. Of course, whenever you want to go outside to do something, the wind starts blowing. So if the wind is blowing too much, I'll, I'll just try to mute all that out. And it won't be more of a DIY video. It'll just be me putting it together. I don't really have an official plan. I kind of just wing everything. I'm just gonna go up there and see what I can do. I mean I have an idea in my head of what I want it to look like but you know I make shit as I go. We'll just see what I come up with up there. I did make one of those uh, wind cat thingies that fit over the microphone. Uh, this will be a good test for that since it is windy. I hope it works. So I don't know, I'll throw this on, I'll go change, and let's get to it. All right, so hopefully it's not too windy and you can hear me okay, but this stuff is called Unistrut. I picked this stuff up at Lowe's. They were $14 a piece and I got six of those. There is some thicker ones that I did not go for. I don't know, I figured it would all be about the same. I guess we'll find out when I'm all finished here. But I got six of these and they are 10 foot long. I'm gonna mount all of the uh, panels onto these if I can. And let's see, the hardware that I'll be using, this is 3 8 by 16, two and a half inches long. And they actually make specific uh, nuts for these Unistrut. And since I got the the thinner ones, they, they come with these, they're called cone nuts. And these you just slide in here, slide them wherever you need to go, and they just stay right in there and you don't have to stick any sort of wrench in there or anything. I got a couple bags of these, and I also got the square washer. Basically, these are what's going to hold down the panels. Pretty much like that. I think this is a pretty common way to do it. Just mounting it to your roof might be your own sort of application, but I, I'm definitely not the first to come up with this. I saw plenty of other YouTube videos where they do use this. Most people are using the real thick stuff. It's about inch and five eighths. I figured why couldn't I use this? If there's a problem with the smaller stuff, I will let you know. That's gonna be the plan. I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna put this up on the roof yet, but I usually figure it out as I go.
All right, so this is how I think I'm gonna lay it down. I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then four, five, six. And I do wanna lift these off the roof a little bit so like any sort of leaves or debris or whatever and water can run straight underneath it. There is a little bit of a like high spot. Somewhere. It's kind of teeter up and down right here. So I'm definitely gonna have to lift up just the bottom side it looks like. Well, I really need to lift all of it up. So I might go cut some uh, pieces of the Unistrut. I have some, some older stuff that I'll just slice out some pieces for it so I can lift everything up off the roof and then raise up this last rail a little bit higher. So I'll go do that real quick. All right, so I didn't have any of uh, the cutting wheels to cut the other used stuff that I have. So I can't really cut it up to make little stands. But I did find this aluminum I had. This was from some old like blinds in our house when we first bought it. And I still had them, of course, because I'm a hoarder. So what I'm thinking about doing is just setting three down the center of each one to raise it all off the roof a little bit. And then I'll probably end up raising up the, the last one with something else just a little bit higher. Yeah, and it's windier so you probably can't hear me and the neighbors started cutting his grass. So yeah, I'll just show you what I'm doing since you probably can't hear me.
All right, so what I'm planning on doing is after I set the other three on here, it's gonna be the two on the ends are gonna be series together, then the two in the center are gonna be series together, and then the two on this end are gonna be series together, just so they can all kinda of go the same direction right down the center. All right, so I ordered some of these MC4 connectors off of Amazon. They're the kind that you build yourself or do it yourself. Each one has a positive and negative right on it, so you can't really mess that up unless you're not looking and each one gets its own male or female counterpart. And I'm just gonna crimp them on and we'll see how that works out. I do have the wiring I used uh, my previous solar panel setup. This is the outdoor low voltage light that you would use for like your pathway lights or something like that. I'm just gonna reuse it. It's designed for outdoor and it's eight gauge. And this should be fine for the short run that it has to do. I'm doing is just slipping the wire right inside the whole thing give it a little twist and then smash it would probably be best if you solder it but I don't feel like doing that right now and once you stick this in here it's got the little um, raised teeth on it so whenever you push it in it'll snap snap in place And you can give it a little tug and it won't come back out. All right, now that we just hooked up the series connection on the panels, I'm gonna check the end voltage. Make sure the connectors are working. And I'm showing 67, 66, and of course we just get clouds. So we are getting good voltage through the panel, so I'm just gonna move down to the next two. Okay, now this next part is gonna be a little poor man as well. I'm gonna use <laughs> these power blocks from my last solar install because I don't have anything nice 
yet so I'm gonna reuse this old power block for I don't know a couple weeks until I can get something else to go right here yeah this is just a power block for your power or ground in automotive like your car stereos and stuff it worked for many many years before I don't see why it won't work for a few more weeks until I get something else to put here so yeah that's pretty much where I'm at now And my Allen wrench doesn't fit, of course. Better put on the little guards. There we go, that'll protect it from lightning and everything. Well, it took me maybe four hours to do this, and that pretty much includes moving the camera around, running up and down the ladder to grab more tools or screws or what have you, eat lunch. For the most part, they're in. This is like the best spot on the roof, so I wanted to put these panels here first, and then I can start putting the, the 12 volt panels around these to give me just a little bit extra. Now right here on the end, I kind of forgot about this, but I've just used an extra square washer. I'm gonna have to get one of those like L bracket types or something else to fit in here so I can keep the ends down like this. I completely forgot about that, so I'll have to go back to Lowe's or somewhere or, and find a, an L bracket to keep this end down. Some of them I, I ran out of these, so I've only got these on the four corners right now. That's basically what it looks like without an L bracket or an extra support. Some of them are flat like that and others are kind of at a crooked angle which I'll show you real quick. This is what I am talking about since I don't have any support under here. I don't have anything to support this side so I'll have to get an L bracket to fix that. So what do you think? Looks good. So I have some solar panels on the roof. I am freaking excited. I cannot wait to get this shit going. Holy crap, it is taking forever. So the poor man solar installation as promised. What do you guys think? Does it look okay for a couple quick hour job? So really the hardest part about that whole installation was bringing the panels up on the roof. That was kind of a pain in the ass. Whoa, doing it all by yourself, carrying up a ladder. So yeah, I have some little things I still need to do like like on the edge of the panels where the square washers are at an angle I'll just have to get like a L bracket or something so I know all of you guys are super jealous of my car audio distribution blocks for connecting the solar panels to the I forget what gauge that wire is I think it's two gauge wire it's welding wire I used it on my previous solar panels and it seemed to work just fine so I'm just gonna reuse it I'll probably end up getting some sort of like box with a disconnect in it probably some circuit breakers or something up there on the roof and that way that'll YouTube comment that'll replace those distribution blocks I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research to figure out exactly what I want to do up there what is everybody else using right there I want to see all the different ideas that everybody's got so I'll do an update video whenever I do get to that point and then I want to separate the panels just a little bit more because those square washers are pretty thick and I think they're gonna leave little mini shadows so I'll probably do that here 
sometime in the next couple of weeks because I want to hook up all the 12 volt panels up there as well. I'll probably have to do four in series or at least that's what I'll try at first and if that doesn't work then I'll add probably those other two poly panels that are 45 watts a piece. I know you're not really supposed to series a bunch of random panels together but I'm gonna do it anyway. What else? Next up will be I gotta hook up the charge controller and set up all the internal voltages and whatnot so I guess that'll be in probably the next video and then I'll probably do some sort of like temporary install where the wires come down into my basement. Don't freak out, it's not gonna be permanently where I'm gonna be doing the testing. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna set up like a temporary spot over there. So that'll be hopefully here in the next couple of days. I have a little bit more work to do on the solar panel installation stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And don't forget to check out all the affiliate links. I'll list all of the nuts and bolts that I used down in the description box. Whenever you click on one of the affiliate links down below, it'll take you to Amazon or eBay. And if you do buy something, I get a tiny, tiny percentage of that. So check out the links. If you don't buy anything, that's cool. Anything helps. Also, if you would like to support any of my efforts, you can by the PayPal link down below or you can support me through Patreon down below as well. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. I knocked a couple leaves down. Go left. Get left. Go left. Get a refrigerator. Go left. That, this. Um, I just kind of, um, uh, and, um, uh, um, uh, 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 and, and, uh, 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 but this is, eh, uh, if, if, uh, um, I need to put like those little, I need to put like, yeah, uh, and, um, cause I want to see B, um, um, and equals 705 watts. Is that right? All right, 705, uh, let me clear that. I'm not very good at math. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and laugh at that part. I guess you do what you have to do, right?